Hello there, this is Malak and welcome to episode 51 of the One Ring Village. I've decided to switch one kitchen briefly over to Black Pudding because there's an achievement, a Steam achievement called Parasite. <laughs> and since we've randomly found Onbu blood from uh, other Onbus that are, I don't know, laboratories or whatever, we can, we can spare three of it to, uh, well, there we go, that looks, no, that's just a, Oh, here we go. Here's a load of blood coming in. I just thought I'd, you know. And then once we've got one piece of black pudding, one person, one s special person. What's he rubbing that tomato for? Oh, they're all rubbing their tomatoes. Okay, so now we're going to switch that back to something else. I don't even know what it was, to be honest. I think it was grilled tomato originally. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, it was a thing. God, we've got so many mushrooms. Like, what have we got too much of? I mean, we can literally cook some, um... I mean, did I just see weird, weird ass... You could just poach the eggs. I mean, we could literally just have some sat there and just <clears throat> poach the eggs. Simple meal meld from Elifly eggs. Mmm, great. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with beet soup because I'm pretty sure we uh, oh, we've got so much beet soup though. I don't think we have any need for more beet soup at this point. Okay, so we've oh we've gone north. I don't know whether that was. I assumed that that was what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Hello, one boo. Yeah, good boy. I brought back sand. Yes, our favorite thing. Okay, yeah, beet soup is being made. That's fine. We've got so much. I think at the moment we're going to be making a lot of corn. So I assume. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get Pauletta going. To be fair, I've probably just swapped things around um, more than I need to. Okay. Well, here's a good question. What have we got as far as, like, glass goes? 27 glass. I think I was going to turn around and build another mansion, wasn't I? I think so. Because there's space there. There's definitely space for a mansion. Get that pile of stones out the way. And then we can put some trees, or whatever, just to brighten the place up a bit. Big bush. We like the big bush. But we could put little, um, I mean, that, that's kind of already got that, or a little, little flowers. You know what, let's put some flowers here. Where are me flowers? Where's me flowers? There we go. I'm just going to have a couple of little blue bush pots. Oh, there's some yellow bush pots as well. Yellow, blue, yellow... Blue, blue pot, yellow flower bed, blue flower blood, bed. That'll be fine. Someone else can have the yellow pots. Oh, iron! Iron was a problem. Yeah, that was that was the other thing, wasn't it? Ding. The sandworms. So the question is, is Ombu is, is a bit sleepy, so we're we're not gonna let Ombu sleep, because otherwise we'll get infected with sandworms. Although we don't have any sandworms, so is it worth just to sort of seeing what they are? I mean Ombu does want to sleep here where all the sandworms are. This is not gonna be good for you, buddy, but 
you've decided to stop here anyway. I could have got you to run past, but I had kind of didn't click. Now, I don't know what the um. So I'm going to assume that we're about to get. There we go. Well, buddy, you've picked a you've picked a hell of a spot to sleep. We'll keep an eye on things. So are they just going to kind of appear on on Onbu's back like the Elifleas? Because I think that the um. Oh. Grab, yeah, grab some from that dune. Because we got an icon indicating that there was an infestation and what it was, so I guess we, we wait. But what I was originally going to, uh, oh, people are coming back from scavengy things. There's literally a quarry there. And oases. Oh, there's a mine. Send someone to the mine. Oh, the scavenging is going really fast because we're near there. Okay, we have infestations. Oh my god, okay. I need to stop for a second. So, we have sandworms. Each sandworm makes plants and fungi grow faster. Can be removed by injecting with insecticide. Will die off in seven. In, will die off in eight days. But the burrowing sandworms hurt on boot. Take ten percent damage once this effect is filled, and will be filled in nine days. Okay. Well, we can cure on boot. That's okay. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. Um. I'm guessing we can't just harvest them. Oh, there. Look. There's no, no, no. That's not. I thought that was a worm, but it's a glider. <laughs> Well, I don't see anything, but I didn't know what to look for look for before, so I didn't know. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Oh, you're just going to get some food or something. Okay. Well, oh, there's. I think that's on the ground. I think the worms are different from the other things, the elephleys, because I'm assuming. That the uh, the worms are just kind of like inside, which is kind of gross. But well, we will we will deal with the sandworm infestation once Onbu's had a rest. Hell of a rest, though. You know, you're busy sleeping, and worms burrow into your body. Not exactly nice, is it? Not exactly nice. What other achievements have we got? Full body shave. Cut down every tree on Ombu's back. No. <laughs> the Wandering City reached population of 200. Ooh, okay. We could we could keep playing until we get 200 villagers. Build the Onbu Monument. Ah, there's, a, there's something we have not built yet. Oh, hello, buddy. You're awake. You had a good sleep. Anyway, what we... um. I'm in the wrong... There we go. The Onbu Monument. It might be that we can only build that when we get to a certain size, because I think that was a thing, wasn't it? For for one of them. Right then, buddy. Well, you've got sandworms. We will, we will deal with them. We will make sure that you remain healthy. Sand, bread, sand. Well, sand is useful for construction, so it's worth grabbing. Hopefully we get some iron out of this mine. When we get the next trader, we're going to have to do a whole bunch of trading for iron. To be honest, I think I have been doing that, but... Oh, I paused it unnecessarily. I think I have been doing that, but... Maybe not as much as I could have been, and... 
it depends on the traders, doesn't it? Some of them just don't have things like that. What did they get? Six iron ore. That's pathetic, but I guess could have been... It could be worse. could be a kick in the teeth. We didn't get a kick in the teeth. That's always good, isn't it? <laughs> Better than a kick in the teeth. Let's speed things up a little bit. You know what? Come on, buddy. Have a bit of a jog. Whee! Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Yeah. See, that's a run. It's like, dude, that's not a run. That's a, that's an amble. Just a gentle amble. I think we should be fine. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you can walk again now, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna pet you for that. Cause you're a good boy. We've got some nomads. We've got 162 people so far. That would be good options. What else have we got? Survive until day 100 without building any farms. Yeah, well, we failed that one. Day 273. Survived until day 100 without building any air wells. Interesting. Survive until day 100 without harvesting any berries. So you can't do all of these in one go. Pick them up. I mean, it could be worse. But again, it's not, not a lot, is it? What is this? So, dancing under the hot sun, looking for protection from the sun, your scavengers walk under a cliff formation. Here, you meet a tribe performing a dance ritual. I mean, let's offer them... Well, we don't actually have... That's not a lot of water. Eh, 40 out of it is not going to be a terrible amount. We're fine. Yay! Don't think that was a particularly great option, but it's fine. We have lots of cactus. Well, there's a cactus farm that we're doing our best to do lots of cactusy things with. And then there's also a cactus farm. So we've got like two cactus farms big fully populated cactus farms going going nuts both using compost and both at a growth bonus because of weird sandworm shenanigans we should be fine we'll probably be fine it might be worth us changing from tomatoes to something else yeah, corn requires a lot less water. Oh, hang on. Let's send some dudes out. Poison forest might be fun. So yeah, I'm interested in what's going on with the sandworm. So obviously there's this timeout thing where we have this effect, which is the benefit, but that sandworm will die out. 
We can insecticide to remove it, but it's going to run out anyway. But that, that when it runs out, something else might happen. Here, we have a slightly longer duration. Freya's scratching away at her post. And then we take 10% damage once it's filled. So, so after these have died out, we then end up with... Oasis is actually a really good idea at the moment because of, of water shenanigans. So then it takes damage. But again, these, when they expire, they might create other events. You, you know what I mean? So I guess we're going to have to see. We're about to hit a heat wave. We can, we can survive a heat wave easy enough. Okay, so we've got water to the north path and kind of swampy, jungly thing to the south path. Okay, making their way through the dense, dark, poison forest, your scavengers sometimes catch a glimpse of shadows darting around in their periphery. Um, it's merely oppressive darkness. Let's forge ahead. Something's stalking us. Forge ahead. Your scavengers continue and locate a small... Oh, no! Oh, so one of them literally just disappeared. How do you know? If they've just disappeared, how do you know they died? Douglas died on a mission. Poor Douglas. Barely knew him. Okay, we're entering a heat wavy thing. I forgot to close my window. You're going to get a lot of background sounds of people outside in vehicles. Not that it's a busy road, but, you know, it happens every now and again. Sixty-seven water. Just gonna keep an eye on that. Oh, we've got a, a shipwreck. I can't actually remember whether they're particularly good. No oasis we can go for. I think the south path. I think I've had enough of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ombu ending up um, nearly drowning on multiple occasions doesn't seem like a good plan to me. It really, really doesn't. Though in fairness, reading the comments, was it Wild Magic? Apologies if it wasn't. Got to be off by one. Hmm. I know it was mentioned in the comments that I read a few days ago. Um, that running out of energy in the water is an instant death. <laughs> um, but we don't want, we don't want poor Ombu to be tired out anyway. Even if there is no, or even if there is not an instant death scenario. Oof, 19 water. We're about to get out of that hot patch, but I think going the south path. I'm still going to go south path. So we're going to then do oasis -y things, and then that mine Oh, I wonder whether we meet up with those nomads. That'd be nice. We could get Ombu to wait if uh, if it looks like we're gonna miss them. We've got a we've got a fort, ruins, shipwrecks. I think the mine for the uh, for the iron is a good idea. It looks like we're gonna uh, beat them to the that bit. Oh, waiting decision. What appears to be a quarry turns out to your Ombu excavation site. So there's an awful lot of. Ombu's around. Well, not an awful lot, but an amount. Um, that are buried under the ground. And that sort of people have in the past have dug them up to find, you know, that they're dead and fossilized. Now, oh, but petrified. Petrified is, is different from fossilized, but yeah, tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Scavenge some resources, please. Stone slabs, eh, nothing great, but poisoned workers is not terrible. So, we probably can just wait around a bit. So, we've, we've recovered some more water now that we're out of the hot patch. Oh, if we wait, we might then miss that, which is ideal. 
So I think we need to get Ombu to wait inside this area. Wait for these nomads to get there. Um, it means... I mean, Ombu's kind of tired anyway. So... Probably a good idea. Let's wait for, for them to be in the middle exactly. And then we can have a little look at doing a sleep. Doing a sleep. Hey, buddy. Oh. I think Freya's bored of me having a second pet. Hey, buddy. You wanna have a snooze? Yeah? Before we go into the poison area? I think it's a good idea. We've got a trader. We need to have a little look at the trader things. The trade window. Give us all your iron. Yes. So we will have all of your all of your iron. We will have your iron ore. This seems good to me. Um We've got so much flour. Here, have some of our flour. A tiny fraction for that. Uh, so we don't really have tomatoes. Tomatoes are always good. Let's grab the water. Um, heal shrooms. I actually think we have bundles of as well, yeah. But let's get wood planks. And that's kind of... Almost feels pointless, doesn't it? But it is not. It is not a pointless gesture. Let's give them a little bit of, of herbage. God, we've got so much worthy trade. Do you know what I mean? We've got so much stuff that is just, we, we can afford to trade. It's crazy. There we go, that will help with, um, st stuff. Hello, buddy. And then in the morning, we can give you some breakfast. Yeah, buddy? You'd like that? Creaky buddy. Get ready. Yeah, buddy. Cool. <laughs> and then we're sort of just gonna hopefully get to meet these nomads. If not, we can hopefully like a shipwreck. Hopefully we can then get Ombu just to stand around and wait. Because we definitely want some more nomads on site. What's our water situation? Not too bad. Not too shabby. We could plant some of those other weird things. And we're about to go into a poisony area actually. So if we plant one of those weird bugs. You know the weird bugs? You know the weird bugs. Okay. It'll start producing... Hello, Freya. What are you doing, beast? Little beast. Aren't you? Yeah? You're a tiny beast. Yeah. Yeah. Am I not giving you enough attention? I'm giving all these mean internet people. <laughs> You're not that mean. I'm just about to say that to appease her. Yeah, all these mean internet people, giving them too much attention. Is that it? Yeah. Gotcha. So yeah, we're gonna plant one of these things. In fact, we might as well plant two of these weird ass m motherfuckers. Oh, hello Freya. She's on the desk now. What are you doing skulking around? You do realize you're, you're right in front of me. You can't actually sneak. I, I'll notice you. You're... You may be quite small, but you're, you're, you're still pretty big when it comes to sitting in front of a bloody monitor. Bless her. She's a bit... She's a wee bit daft. So yeah, if we plant a couple of them... They can produce some eggs. And we can see about kind of just leaving them there, maybe? I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure whether or not we want a permanent set of parasites. Though we may have a semi-permanent ones until we... Uh, until we cure these, depending on what happens when these timers run out. It might be that they just die out. Do you know what I mean? They might just die out. Um, and then that's that. But I kind of feel like the uh, the taking damage is not a major issue. Like, I bet it probably stings Ombu. Poor buddy. 
And you, you chose to sleep in a patch full of sandworms. Anyway, I guess we're going to have to figure out what is happening with these nomads and the forest we're about to enter, jungly thing, whatever, um, uh, next time. Until then, cheerio.